In this video I'm going to show you how to make neon text. So I'm just starting off with a new document and now I just want to find a background picture so I'm going on the stock studio and I'm going to type in brick wall. And when you found one you like just drag it over to the document. And then zooming out and clicking on the move tool and I'm just going to resize the picture. And then go into the layer studio and I'm clicking the plus sign at the top and then I'm adding a new fill layer. And then on the colour wheel I'm changing the colour to a dark blue. I'm then clicking the three dots at the top and I'm changing the blend mode to multiply. And then I'm bringing the opacity down to around 85. And then I'm clicking on the artistic text tool and then I'm clicking on art text. And then I'm first just changing the size. And then I'm going to find the neon font that I've downloaded. And then I'm clicking on the neon font and then you can just type whatever but I'm going to type acorn. But I'm first going to change the colour to pink. And then on the move tool, I'm just going to resize it. And then I'm going over to the FX on the right. And I'm clicking on outer glow. And I'm changing the color to pink and I'm bringing the radius up and this is going to be the glow coming from the letters I'm then clicking on inner glow and I'm leaving the colour on white and I'm changing the origin to centre and this is going to be the light that's coming from the centre of the letters and then I'm bringing the radius up I'm then clicking on outer shadow and this will be the glow that's reflected off the wall. So I first changed the colour to pink and I brought the radius up. And then the offset kind of changes the position of the light on the wall. And I'm just doing this to help it look a bit more realistic. And then going on outline and I'm changing the fill style to contour and I'm clicking on the black dot at the bottom and I'm changing the color to pink and I'm leaving the other one on white and I'm changing the alignment to center and this will just be a small line that goes around the letters, again, just to make it look a bit more realistic. And I only want to bring the radius up a tiny bit. And then add in a pixel layer.
and I'm going on the paintbrush and I'm changing the colour to pink. And I'm making sure the hardness is at zero and the flow is around 50%. and I'm making the brush size just a little bit bigger than the text. And then I'm just going to paint over the text. And I'm changing the blend mode to screen. And I've lowered the opacity. And then I'm dragging that pixel layer to sit beneath the text. And this is just to give it a bit more of a glow. So I'm just hiding the text for a minute so I can see the pixel layer underneath. And I want to bring the opacity up a bit more. But there's too much of it on the left, so I'm clicking on the erase tool. And I'm bringing the opacity down. And I'm just going to paint away some of that layer 